So this was my introduction into this world of holotropic states, although I didn't call them holotropic at the time. Uh, it was particularly powerful because my preceptor was very interested in electroencephalography. And at the time when I had the session, he was particularly interested in something that's called driving the brain waves, which means exposing people to very powerful stroboscopic light and then studying if the um, brain waves in the sub suboccipital area, which is the optical cortex, would pick up the frequency that you're feeding in. So what it meant is that in the middle of my session, when my experience was culminating, this research assistant came and she said uh, it was time to drive the brain waves. So she took me to a small room, I lie down and she pasted the electrodes on my head and then uh, brought this gigantic stroboscopic light and then turned it on. And in the next moment there was light like I had never seen in my life. I, I couldn't even imagine existed. At the time I thought this is what it must have been like in Hiroshima. Today I think it was more like Dharmakaya with the primary clear light from the Tibetan Book of the Dead that you're supposed to see at the moment of your death. And uh, uh, my consciousness was just catapulted out of my body. And, uh, you know, I lost the research assistant, I lost the clinic, I lost Prague, I lost the planet. And uh, I had the feeling that I ceased to exist in the form in which I knew myself. I was just extinguished. But I somehow became uh, everything there was. I was kind of nothing and everything at the same time. And it was quite, quite an incredible experience. And then, as, as uh, this was happening to me, she was very carefully following the protocol. She started from 2 hertz, you know, went up to 60 hertz, and then back and left it for a while in the alpha range, and then in the middle of the theta range and the delta range, and then turn it off, and then my consciousness started shrinking again. And uh, for a while I was in the, actually in the astronomical universe and the things, processes were happening for which I didn't have names even at the time. Later when I read about the black holes and, you know, white holes and wormholes, it was something in that, in that category. And then uh, I sort of returned, I f found the planet, I found cl the clinic, I found my body. But for a while it was difficult for me to align my consciousness with my body and uh, it just became clear to me that those are two different things and that the idea that consciousness is produced by the brain simply was, a non was nonsense. And uh, I was very impressed and uh, suddenly I had a whole new uh, realm that I wanted to explore. I was stuck with psychiatry and, you know, I felt this was by far the most interesting thing that you can study. So it has been now about 50, 54 years, and I have really done very little professionally that would not be related in one way or another to these holotropic states.